me attack, baby I'm bad I just wanna get caught up in this life, I'm crazy, I'm mad Do it no cap, only got one so you better go live it up, cash in the bag Stadium pack, baby I'm bad good you guys it's your girl cc aka cecilia robinson aka cc reacts and i want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in with me today before we get started i need for you guys to like subscribe and share the video <laughs> also please hit that bell so you know when i'm coming on listen i'm gonna ask you guys i really really need y'all to share the videos youtube be on so much bs with me hiding the content people don't know i post it share the videos you know what i'm saying be a friend let people know, you know, what's going on. Also, I want to say this. Um, I heard you guys request. I listened and I've developed something brand new for you guys. The How Did I Become a Criminal series is now available to see have members only. You guys have been rocking with me. Y'all have followed me through my whole prison journey. Now, hear the story on how all of that um, came to life. How did I take those steps in order for me to go to prison? Yes, it's available now on the Sea Hive. This is the first of several series that's coming to the Sea Hive. Listen, it's some fire content, and you guys will not be disappointed. So anybody who hasn't joined the Sea Hive, listen, if you want more stories from me, the Sea Hive is where you need to be at. And if you want to hear how I end up going to prison, check out how I became a criminal. Sign up. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And once again, thank each and every one of you. Now I want y'all to sit back, relax, and enjoy this fire content, this fire episode, and y'all be smooth. Have a dope day. Listen, y'all want to know how that sink got broke? Okay, I'm going to tell y'all. First of all, when we was walking to that bathroom, um, I had all these movie scenes playing off up in my head. I just knew I was about to go in this bathroom and lay my lick down. It is what it is. Now, when we get inside that bathroom, I close the door. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at them all seductive and all this other stuff. Um, I turn off the lights. You know what I'm saying? When the lights is off, that's my playground. You know, um, because I have this this confidence in the dark. It is what it is. He tell me, turn the lights on. And I'm thinking to myself, turn the lights on. Now, y'all got to understand something. Um, this dude ain't seen my body. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you. I got stretch marks, stab wounds, bullet holes, tattoos, gum. I, I got a pancake back here. All type of stuff. You've only seen me with my clothes on. You talking about turn the lights on. I'm talking about when he said that. I said, I had to turn them on. I said, huh? I said, like Scooby-Doo, huh? You know, what, 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 what you mean? He tell me. He said, listen. He said, I want to see everything. I'm trying to make an excuse. I said, my good sis here. I don't want that image in your head. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking he finna fall for it. He tell me I'm a grown man. I know what I signed up for. Y'all, I ain't had no more excuses. You know what I'm saying? Um, my confidence was so shot. Because I just knew. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got all these dudes out here. I can't deal with no chick with stretch marks. I can't deal with this. They got to have a BBL and all this other stuff. So, you know, I done seen his his past people. So, it's like, yo, is is am I going to run him off? But he's telling me this is what he's he wants. So, let me give it to him. I turn the lights back on. You know what I'm saying? When I turn the lights back on, he, you know what I'm saying? Look at me. And I'm like, listen, it was a little faucet. You know what I'm saying? But it was drying up like the desert. I, I, oh, my nerves was kicking in, y'all. And y'all know how I get when my nerves kick in. I get clumsy and crazy. It just is what it is. So he, look, he digging his pocket, right? And he pull out the little gold you dig. You know what I'm saying? Now, I done seen them gold you digs. He opened the pack like a pro. One strip. One tap, he did it. You know what I'm saying? Pull it out. He pulled it out, and he he you know he let it down. He let it down. You know so I can see see the length of it. And I'm looking. You know what I'm saying? Now I don't get a little scared off of that. 
know what I'm saying? Because I've seen plenty of people pull out those gold little packets and, and they ain't had nothing to go in it. It just is what it is. Just a whole bunch of and, and rubber skin. You know what I mean. Now, look, he he hit his belt. Bah! He hit his belt and he hit that zipper and he pulled. And I can see this man is part human, part horse. What else going? You know what I'm saying? I get nervous. Now, y'all got to understand something. This is refurbished Udegat. I ain't had none of this type of action in five years. I haven't had this action in five years. You know what I'm saying? Well, it was four years, y'all. Four. You know, uh, maybe I needed a tune-up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I should have hollered at C.O. Mike. Maybe I should have let Peter Piper pick the pepper. You know, nail me to the crowd. Maybe. But that right there, I knew it was going to break me. You know what I'm saying? So he see how I'm looking. He put a little smirk on his face. You know, he knew what he was doing. And he wanted to break me, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm standing there. I don't got all that mouth no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't got the confidence no more. The way I walked in there is not the way I'm standing there. He know that he liked that. You know what I'm saying? He liked to tame me. It is what it is. He tell me, he said, get over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, get over where? I look at the toilet like, get over there. You know what I'm saying? He like, nah, get to the sink. You know what I'm saying? So I walk over to the sink. He turn me the way he want me now he got me facing the mirror you know what i'm saying so he behind me and i can see him behind me and i can see him you know what i'm saying looking at my pancake back there and i was I, i'm talking about i got my cheeks squeezed tight you know what i'm saying trying to make them look like they, they pumped up a little bit that's how i, I got it because he back there and i don't like that i just don't like it because i know what's back there well i really don't but i know what's back there so i'm trying to make my cheeks look pumped up a little bit you know trying to make them nice and tight and you know still now while I'm doing all this, um, I realize the position he want me in because he's going to have total control. But it's a thing that, that, that about this position. I have never in my whole entire life, in my 40 some years on this earth, ever mastered this position. You know what I'm saying? Normally, I see the girls in, on the little TV, ooh, 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 you know, doing it and dipping all that. No. I get two situations while I'm in that position. You know what I'm saying? Either you're going to get a straight up back or you're going to get a, a dip back. A straight up, huh? Straight up, camel. You're going to get one of those. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to do nothing else. It is what it is. This is strong. So if you back there and you going hard, I know if my back is like this, I can be sturdy. You know what I'm saying? I can't be sturdy no other way. So he, you know what I'm saying? He, he, you know, push me forward. He's trying to get me right, to get me in a position. And so I know it. So I put my, you know, I put my, 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 my muscles up. And, and he like, he like loosen up. <clears throat> loosen up. <clears throat> so he like, put your shoulders down. <sighs> Every time you do the other one, my other one come up. Every time you get one down, the other one come up. But this is all you get. I say, this is all I know how to do. You know what I'm saying? I got to come clean. He said me, he said, don't worry about it. He said, I can work with it. He started pulling at my britches. You know what I'm saying? Um, he pulling at them, he get them to where he want them. And he back there. Listen, y'all remember Tom and Jerry? It was the episode when Tom had Jerry in his hand. And when Tom opened his hand, Jerry had something like this. And when Tom stuck his eyeball down there, Jerry said, Pew! And Tom was like, <laughs> Listen, that's how I sounded when he got me. I said, <laughs> Listen, oh, 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 now look, I got to see how I look. I got to see how he look. You know what I'm saying? I open my eyes. I look in the mirror and I see him. His eyes is closed and he back there. He, and he transforming y'all. He transforming. Like every time he did his hair like this and he whipped his locks around. Cause he got them, he got them two strand twists and his locks long. He whipped them around. It's like, it gave him more leverage on me. And I'm, oh. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Listen, I'm talking about he was hitting a button that I didn't know I had. You know what I'm saying? And it, it made me uncomfortable. And I just knew my good sister was finna go do her thing. Listen. Woo! Woo! And I grabbed the sink and I was holding on so tight. And he was going so hard that I snatched the sink out the wall. That's how the sink got out the wall, y'all. If y'all want to know. That's it. You know what I'm saying? When the sink comes out the wall, you know what I'm saying? He hear it. He hear it. And I, I fall back a little bit, which hurt me even more, y'all. And he, you all right? You all right? You all right? I told him, yeah. But that was my perfect opportunity to get away from this. I told him, I say, look, I say I'm new. You know what I'm saying? I say this, this refurbished. I say I shouldn't have done this right here. 
know what I'm saying? I say, I don't want to do this right here. I say, can we stop? I say, I'm in a lot of pain. And can I, can I make this up to you? He looked disappointed, but he said, me saying, you know what? He said, yeah, he said, I understand. You know what I'm saying? What he didn't understand was I'm finna go get some work from somebody else because you killing me, Mr. Ed. You know what I'm saying? You're killing me here. Um, he said me, yeah, I understand. You know what I'm saying? So I say, look, I'm sorry. He said, ain't, ain't no problem. Ain't no need for no sorries. We don't say sorry. I say, okay, cool. You know, we fix ourselves. We going up out of there. You know, I lock up the store. Boom. He dropped me off. Next morning, like I said, Samia's calling my phone over and over and over and over and over again. And she's trying to get me to confess to, to breaking this sink. Ma'am, I will never tell you I broke that sink. Damn your sink, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about the raise you haven't gave me yet. You know what I'm saying? We was on our third, well, I was on my third check. And I still hadn't got my raise, my two lot of raise. Not only that, but I was working between 70 and 80 hours per week. She tells me legally she can only pay me for 80 hours. You know what I'm saying? Every two weeks. And she'll pay me under the table for the rest of the time. The money that she was paying me under the table, tell me why this lady was taking taxes out of it like they was taxing her. You know what I'm saying? She was just dirty and she was playing me because I'm on parole. And I understood that. So, bitch, you play me, I'm going to play you. It is what it is. Long story short, when I tell her I'm not confessing to that, well, I ain't tell her that. I just told her I don't know. You know what I'm saying? She tell me it's going to be some changes on my ship. I tell her, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? So she, I'm like, what, what changes are you talking about? Are you taking me off the ship or what? She tell me she'll tell me when I come to work. So when it's time for me to go to work, I go around there to, to Subway. You know what I'm saying? I get that little 30 minutes early or whatever to see what she's talking about. Now, when I walk up in there, I see Jimmy. Samir, I see uh, Frank, I see Tom, and I see this new dude. Now, y'all got to understand something. I don't like new people, for real, for real. I know that sounds crazy because I'm always the new person somewhere. But I don't like new people, for real, for real. And for one, I don't like how he was talking like he was just familiar. Like, dude, I never seen you up in here before a day before in my life. Like, how are you so familiar? You know what I'm saying? When the customers walk, walk in, he, hey, how you doing? Welcome to sub. When he, he maneuvering and everything, arms moving and stuff. Like, he get high. You know what I'm saying? I know a crackhead when I see one. You know, I'm looking at him or whatever. Now, have it go. He waiting on customers and everything. And I'm just standing and I'm peeping the scene. You know, I'm acting like I'm looking at my phone and everything. But I'm really peeping the scene. I see this dude going over to the register. And I'm thinking to myself, when the register come up short, I hope she don't try to blame me. You know what I'm saying? Because she got this whole crackhead over here. Now, this man, now, y'all got to understand something. I don't, I don't know if this man a crackhead or not, but he moved like a crackhead. Not only do he move like a crackhead, he look like one. He tall. He about 6'3". He real skinny um his shirt extra big look like one of tom old shirts because tom was big uh he got dreads they not tamed at the root um they long all his tips look like uh uh all his tips are a different color, like neon colors. You know what I'm saying? So his head look like a pack of highlighters. Um, He got a beard that don't connect. You know what I'm saying? It's like patches. You could call them patches. He got a stingy little mustache. He got a little piece of hair right here. He look like the devil. Eyes big, um, red, stained. And his fingers, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking. His fingers look like eagle claws. Got a condition. I don't know what it is. How it go? Let me stop judging people. Let me go on back here. You know, I walk behind the counter. I speak to everybody. Hey, how y'all doing? You know, I keep walking to the back. Now, before I get get a chance to sit down in my favorite chair back there, uh, Samir to me, CC, CC, come, come, come. I want you to meet someone. You know what I'm saying? So I follow her back up to the front, and she take me to where the dude is. So he turn around, you know what I'm saying? And he looked at me, you know what I'm saying? And I don't like the way he looked at me. He looked at me. He started from the top of my head on down to my feet, you know what I'm saying? And he put this little chest of cheese grin on his face, and he missing the tooth, you know what I'm saying? But apparently that tooth ain't hurt his confidence, so he's smiling at me like he's sexy. It is what it is. Um, he he looked like he's... Never mind. That's, never mind. Um, he looked at me, you know? He stick his hands down, and I'm looking at his little eagle claw nails. He... Hey, I'm Dennis. So I look at him. Now, y'all got to understand something about me. I'm from Chicago. So from where I'm from, um, we, we name people what they look like. You know what I'm saying? So I tell him, I say, nice to meet you, Dad. He said, no, no, no. He said, it's just Dennis. I say, I'm CC, Dad. He said, you know what? He said, you keep calling me Dad. He said, I like when females call me Dad. You know what I'm saying? He 
lick his lips and turn back around, you know, put a little smirk on his face like he did something. He don't even know the dad stands for dirty ass dentist. Boy, you smell like dirty mop water. You're dirty as hell. You know what I'm saying? That's not a compliment. You know, I go back to the back. So Samia comes back there uh, with me. She says, CC, that's Dennis. He's going to be working on your shift. So I was like, he going to be working on my shift. She said, yeah. She said, time had to take a leave. So I want somebody on the shift with you who I know is going to come to work. So he's going to be working on your shift. I was like, okay. I was like, well, when do he start? She said, he starts today. So I was kind of irritated because he was already there. You know what I'm saying? She said, we trained him this morning. So he'll be prepared for you tonight. I said, okay, okay, fine. Now he seemed like a smooth cool little dude you know what i'm saying he's real polite he's talking to the customers he's working his butt off so i felt like okay i shouldn't have a problem with him now i really really hate new people you know what i'm saying and i don't like working with nobody it just is what it is have it go i'm watching this dude you know for the remainder of my time how fast he moving and he handling everything he's stocking up the uh the little line and everything I was talking about he waiting on two customers at a time. I mean, he seemed to be a very, very uh professional type dude. I just don't like his appearance. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? Listen, while everybody getting ready to go and everything, he's saying his goodbyes, you know, thanks for the opportunity and everything. And you know, he's, you know, he's so happy to be working at Subway. I'm happy one of us was. When everybody go out the door, when I say this nigga turn into a whole different person, man, I'm happy they ass gone. Man, they be they be humping you like this. So I look at them like, damn, who you is, dude? You know what I'm saying? Like, you is not the man who I just uh, watched for the last 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? He, man, they been working working me all, all day. And that thing, pull out his phone. His, his language has changed. His demeanor has changed. Like, he had let his dreads down. You know what I'm saying? He looking at his phone and he get on the phone. You know, he lean up against the counter. He get to talk to somebody. I guess he was, man, I've been at work all day. I'm finna be at work all night. You know, well, he woo off the bed chopping it up or whatever. Have it go. I busy myself. I go ahead. I put my phone on the Bluetooth. You know what I'm saying? Change the music completely. Go ahead and change the mood. So he see me do this. He, uh, he put his phone down. Hey, what's your name again? I say CC. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's too, too, too. Two damn letters, nigga. You can't, you can't forget that dirty ass Dennis. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, it's CC Heat, man. You, you, you put this music on. I say, yeah, he, man. Let me, let me, let me put, let me play something. I said, I say, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? I say, you can get it. So I take my phone off of there. I'm irritated because I don't like nobody messing with my vibe. You know what I'm saying? I take my phone up off of there. He put his phone on there. You know what I'm saying? He asked me to look cold and all this other stuff. I tell him. He put his phone on there. Now, I, I can go to the line. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing there. Ain't nobody came in the store yet. Um, I'm standing there, and I'm irritated, and I'm trying to calm myself down because I can't have everything my way. You know? So I hear the music come on. It's a beat I never heard before. And then, like, it don't sound mixed. It don't sound edited. It don't sound nothing like nothing. It don't sound come. It don't sound nothing like sh nothing we'd heard. You know what I'm saying? Then I hear a voice come on that. Break my beak, beak, my back, beat my back, destroy them. Yeah, well. And he come out bopping, shaking his dress and everything. Man, you ain't no no cases on the food. He's shaking his dress and everything. So he man, man, this go hard. This go hard. I'm like, who is this? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm getting ready to say something crazy. I'm like, who is this? He was like, man, this mom, this, this mine. He, I'm, man, I'm finna film the video to this next week, man. You should come out. If you got some homegirls, bring them out. I'm thinking to myself, I shall not. You know what I'm saying? I wish the hell I would be in anything you in. I don't want to be in Subway. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, you know, he just keep playing song after song after song. I'm getting irritated and more irritated and more irritated because his music is trash. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's straight trash. People coming in the store, you know, um, I want to tell him to turn it down, but he up there, he vibing and he waiting on people. Now, th this is the part that got me. This one chick come up in the store. She's a regular. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she come up in there and she, she, you know, she getting her food or whatever and he, he going hard. You know what I'm saying? He making a sandwich going hard and all that. So she was like, you got this on? I'm like, nah. You know what I'm saying? So I keep doing what I'm doing, making her food. She was like, who is this? This is horrible. He, man, I know you ain't talking shorty. I know you ain't talking shorty. Man, I ain't done nothing about me sound horrible. He want to get bucked with the chick. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, dude, it's not even that serious. You know what I'm saying? She my bad. I ain't know it was you. She was like, it's just not something I, I done heard before. He was like, I know. He was like, ain't no nigga out here like me. You know what I'm saying? I was so irritated. Listen, he kept playing song after song after song. I just want to take his phone and smash it up against the damn wall. Boy, turn this off. Nobody.
Nobody wants to hear this. Look, why he got that phone on that Bluetooth and we get busy? You know what I'm saying? Um, His phone, the songs are interrupted, which I was happy, but his phone keep ringing, but it's ringing over the Bluetooth. You know what I'm saying? Keep ringing, keep ringing, but he can't stop and go. He can't stop making sandwiches to go get his phone. Listen, whoever was trying to get in contact with him, got in contact with him, well, uh, was trying to get in contact with him, call him about 17 times being real so when we finally get the um line down he go back there and answer his phone so he back there about two minutes before i hear him hooping and hollering he's screaming bitch don't call my phone no more i'm tired of you i'm done with you i'm tired of you you want this you ain't never getting this thing again and all this he going hard you know what i'm saying slam the phone down i hear him slam the phone down on the counter you know he come back up down the front and he, man, he, man, I, I put this on this bitch one time. Now she acting all crazy with me. He, man, man, you know how I go. You know what I'm saying? And grabbing his stuff. And I'm looking at him. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to know neither. You know, I don't want nothing you got that's going to make me act that crazy for you. You know what I'm saying? I don't want none of that. So I have it go. The store phone starts ringing. You know what I'm saying? So I get ready to go back there and get it. He tell me, don't get that. Like, like, dude, this is a business. How you going to tell me not to get the phone? So, I tell him I got to get the phone. This is a business. You know what I'm saying? I go ahead and I go get the phone. When I get on the phone, it's a chick on the phone cussing me down to the ground. I say, hold on. You know what I'm saying? I tell him I said the phone. All the time he go answer the phone, he cussing her down to the ground. You know what I'm saying? I hear him slam the phone down. He come back up there. He like, man, bitch gonna tell me she gonna send some niggas up here. You know what I'm saying? I wish you would. I wish you would. I wish you would. You know, she, he, he turned. You know what I'm saying? When the customers come in the store, he still mumbling up under his breath. But he's still taking orders. Have it go. Um, About 30 minutes later, y'all. About 30 minutes later, um, the door opens. About six big ass dudes walk through the door you know what i'm saying so i'm i don't forget welcome to subway how y'all doing what can i get for y'all you know what i'm saying so they don't say nothing to me they looking you know what i'm saying so they standing in the middle of the floor and it's like a dude that's by the door and all that and i'm looking you know what i'm saying so he oh she really sent y'all up here she really sent y'all up here so one of the dudes tell me man you know what it is bring that ass you know what i'm saying he man you ain't know nothing you ain't know nothing homies you ain't know nothing. You ain't know nothing, homies. You know what I'm saying? Shaking his dress and he hype. You know what I'm saying? He taking off his, his subway shirt and he throwing it on the floor. Man, you ain't know nothing. But all the time, he's still back here behind his counter by me. So I'm looking at this. You know what I'm saying? He, man, hold on. You know what I'm saying? He got another long t-shirt. So he not, like, he not bare chest. He, hold on, I got us. You know what I'm saying? Us? Who is us? You know what I'm saying? He, he, don't tap my shoulder. Hold on, I got us. Oh, who is us? I don't got nothing to do with this. Listen, he take off to the back. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I didn't stay there and wait to see if he came back or nothing. Listen, I, I took my ass out the door. I'm not a part of this. You know what I'm saying? I didn't sign up for this. I didn't hire you. I don't want no parts of this. Listen, I go out the door and I go on ahead on the side of the wall so them people can't see me. And I'm peeking around in the window to see what's going on. They standing there, you know what I'm saying? And you see one boy, he pointing like he finna go back there. You know, he back there, he looking and everything and all that. So I'm looking. Tell me why Dirty Ass Dennis never comes back. You know what I'm saying? He never comes back to the front. Just imagine if I would have stayed behind that register and he said, hold on, I got us. You know what I'm saying? He would have left me in there. You know, so I'm looking and he really, it's like three minutes in the past. He still ain't came back. I hear a voice over my head. Them niggas still up in there. This nigga done went out the back door, came around the whole building. He's standing behind me, trying to peek and see if they still up in there. I told him, I said, yeah. I said, what you going to do for the simple fact we have to go to work? He said, me, call the police. I'm not calling no police. This ain't my fight. You call the police. Man, I don't call no pigs. Hey, what you telling me to call them for? You know what I'm saying? I said, you got to get some people out the store. All the time, I started texting Samir. Yo, you need to look at your camera. It's a situation going down. She refused to text me back. You know what I'm saying? She not texting me back, and I'm sending her text after text. He tell me, man, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. He pulled his little shirt up. He got a little pistol on his, on, on his side. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing. They don't want none of this. He pull it out. You know what I'm saying? He pull it out, put it down to the side. He go on here, open the door. He, what's up? What's up, homies? What's up? What's up? Listen, he had that thing. You know what I'm saying? He had that thing. I don't want no parts of that. When I seen him go up in there, I look, bullets don't have no ass. 
I got away from that that window. You know what I'm saying? I go down that piece of Palermo and I go up in there. You know what I'm saying? I, I low key go up in there. I tell her, I said, man, you should see the stuff that's going on down there. You know what I'm saying? She what? I say, yo, it's a new dude down there. He and two. So me and her come out the door and we looking. Now we standing in the piece of Palermo door. Um, about two three minutes, we don't see no nobody come out. Nobody go in no nothing. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, go down there and look. I was like, I really don't want to. She said, stop being scared. Go down there and look. I said, walk down there with me. She nah. She nah, bitch. I'm at work. You go down there and look. So listen, my heart was in my cooter catch, y'all. I tiptoe down there. I tiptoe down there, I get up against that wall and I look. When I get up in there, they got a dude by his neck. <laughs> up in the air. His feet dangling, y'all. His feet dangling and his head is towards the window. And he looking at me. I, I see him, he see me. You know what I'm saying? I see him, he see me. And it's like he trying to do Morris Cole with his eyes. I don't know if that said call for help or help me or whatever, but I wasn't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? I go back down there and tell Cynthia, I say, yo, they got dude down there hemmed up. She go, go down there and stop it. Listen, I'm so scary. I don't want no part of none of this stuff. I go back down there and I tap on the window. You know what I'm saying? I tap on the window. So I guess they drop him or whatever. He come running out the door. You know what I'm saying? He come running out the door. They come out the door chasing him. Listen, he gone. That's how I got back up in Subway that day, y'all. Now check this out. I go back up in there and I'm texting Samia like, check your camera so you can see everything that happened. She still ain't text me back. About 45 minutes later, you know what I'm saying? I got a line full of people. He comes, uh, he comes back in the store. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah, I had to go handle that. Come behind the register. Go find his shirt that's over there still on the floor because I didn't pick it up. You should have never dropped it there. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah. You know, he put his shirt back on and he trying to tell me what happened, which I know he lying. Um, he washed his hands. Come over there. How may I help you? He waiting on the customers and everything. I ain't got nothing to say to him. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing to say to him. Check this out. I see one of the, I see one of the dudes who had came up in there earlier that was with the, the group of six. They come back up in the door. As soon as I see him come back up in the door, I don't know what's on his mind. I walk right from behind the counter. I go outside. You know what I'm saying? And I start heading down towards piece of Palermo. You know? So as I'm walking, I'm finna go tell Cynthia, like, yo, one of them dudes that came back up in there. You know what I'm saying? Um, as I'm walking, I see JD's car ride past me and get to the light. Now, as I'm looking, I see somebody on the passenger side of his car. And I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, it's a chick. You know what I'm saying? So I wanna, I want, I want him to see me. I want him to see that I see him. You know what I'm saying? So he he's at a light. So he's at the corner. It's it's about a hundred feet in front. I start running. You know what I'm saying? By the time I get to where his car is, the light changing, he pull off. I'm still running. Baby, I run about two blocks looking like Lassie chasing a damn car, trying to get his damn attention. I see you. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do to me. You know what I'm saying? When I gave you the best hump of my life, that's, that's what you do to me? You gonna ride around with another bitch? I got you to do. You know what I'm saying? I got you to do. Listen, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Be smooth.